All right, so I'm starting on the hydraulic bypass and I'll show you what you gotta do. You gotta take that banjo fitting out right there. See that bolt with that banjo in this line? You gotta take that out, put another banjo in. Excuse my mess, I have not cleaned up anything, <clears throat> which is kind of my norm. Um, <laughs> Oh, or the fittings. So here it is. So you take this hose, this banjo fitting, hose clamp that hose, this banjo fitting, um, put that in the back of that pump, and route it up to the reservoir. That's pretty much it. Fill it back with fluid. That's the reservoir and the fender well right there. <clears throat> I'll show you when I lower it back down. Not too, not too difficult on that. And then I've got to wire up a module under the, the dash. Get the module wired up under the dash and this thing should be done after I put the plastics back on, top the fluids off. And I'll be glad to see it go. <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you. We're uh, finishing this up, last day of 2020. Yeah, I'm ready to close 2020 and close this this project and get it out of here. All right, well, see you in the next step. I'm gonna pop to take this line off, put the banjo fitting on, route the line up, and then I'll show you routing it up uh, to the top reservoir. All right, so I've got The bypass kit started. What I've done, let me spin you around here. All right, so there's the banjo reinstalled with a rubber hose coming off of it. Um, the hard line that was on it um, went down under this power steering pump here and out this way and attached to this line. And it was in the way I couldn't get it to uh, could get my hand up in there to put that that fitting on leaving the hard line attached and it says to either remove it or um leave it but you can't leave that part of it and it's, it's not easy to remove it so i just took a, a ziz wheel cut it off um and i'll clean that mess up and uh or lower it down i'm gonna go ahead and finish up getting my plastics back on i've already started popping them back up this one it's still loose i gotta finish putting all the screws in it get these inner fenders and stuff back in it and i'll lower it down and i'll buy finish the bypass kit up top and do the electrical okay so we're back up top um this is where the hose comes from the back of the pump it comes up to the reservoir and i had to run and get some fluid to put in it um we're going to fill that up. There's the hose that that was on there. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. We're going to grab some fluid here. Um, this does take the CHF11. And um, sometimes you can find it in the big metal can, but um, they didn't have it at the O'Reilly's. So we got this version. I hope I got enough. If not, we'll be making another trip. And I had some left over from the last time I worked on this car, so I poured it in first. So. This thing will probably require more. Probably. I don't even know if they had any more on the shelf. I have to go to a different one. I'm hoping this bypass kit is going to take care of my problem with a blown out line down there and not send fluid that way. Um, if not, we're still in the same boat that we were in before. And we're going to have to figure out a way to block that line off. And we are not even close to full. Great. 
Back to the store. <laughs> All right, I gotta run back to the parts store. I thought two was gonna be too much, but uh, that's 24 ounces. That's 20 bucks right there. Those things are $10 a pop. So, um, so I didn't want to, I don't even think they had any more. Luckily, we have a lot of parts stores around here. I will uh, run to the store and be back. Great. All right. Back from the parts store. They only had two. But the, I went to a different one. It was almost $13 a quart at that uh, advance. So, man, stuff is not cheap. And they only... Each store seems to only have two quarts of it, so. Synthetic fluids are expensive. All right. If you hadn't hit the subscribe button and you find my content useful, entertaining, educational, or just downright boring, <laughs> whatever, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. All right, that tank's pretty full. I may have to get one more. Uh, it's not full all the way to the top, but we're going to drop the filter back in the pickup filter and and um yeah hopefully that'll be enough if not then i'll just have to go get some more but i'll have to go to the third part store because nobody seems to carry more than two quarts of this stuff um i guess there's just not a lot of european cars out blowing hydraulic lines this is i see excuse my full garbage can but that's what i normally uh buy it like that but having haven't seen any of that in any of the stores it's in these little yellow jars now so we'll drop this back in I'll wipe my finger off here i'm doing everything one-handed and left-handed at that because um i'm right-handed all right let's switch hands Sorry, I had to tilt you sideways there for a second. These things have this little safety tab. I just bend it back. I don't know why, but I'll figure out something with this hose. Um, let me just tuck it down here. Just tuck it like that Whoa. for now um i don't think that's going anywhere Uh, I better lift it back up and double check that I'm not rubbing a pulley. This means I gotta pop one of these shields back down. All right, so got the fluids back in it. Got the plastics buttoned up. Got the wheels back on it. Got it lowered down on the ground. And this is how she's sitting as of right now with the Strut Master Strut kit, the air ride replacement kit. It's a little high in the front maybe but it'll probably settle out uh, I did saw the wheel back and forth a few times just to try to um, settle it down a little bit because it, it set down a little funny kind of like a doom buggy it had a lot of camber in it 
or a cat, yeah, camber, yeah, camber. Um, had a lot of camber in it. Um, I do recommend getting an alignment. He's gonna have to take it somewhere else, get the alignment done. I, I can't get it done on this rack. Um, although uh, it may not need it, but it doesn't, would, wouldn't hurt to check it. There you have it. That's, uh, I still have to wire up the module and I'll show you what's going on with that. I haven't done that yet. I wanted to fire it up and get some fluid in the power steering. Make sure I didn't have any leaks before I put the plastics and the wheels back on. I haven't moved the car yet. I'm going to roll it back a few feet so I can get this door open good. Oh. Seat back. Can't really get in this thing. Oh, man. Put the steering wheel up. All right, we'll roll it back a few feet here. These cars have too many gadgets for me. I'm not a super bells and whistles person. I like old hot rods. Uh, not too bad for not driving it. Alright, figure out the wiring. <laughs> 